It's another gorgeous day out here in San Francisco. The Phillies hope that it'll parlay into a victory tonight. Victories are tough to come by out here in the Bay Area, at least against the Giants. In fact, since 2014, the Phillies have lost 21 games to San Francisco. On the hill tonight for the Giants will be the right-hander, Alex Cobb. Cobb, 35 years of age, in his 12th year at the big league level. This is what he has done in eight starts, 3-1 and one with a 1-7-0 ERA. I mean, he's the guy. He's got the lowest ERA in town. Well, Bryson Stott will lead things off. One for five in last night's ball game for the Phils at ball four. So Bryson draws the walk, and it brings Trey Turner up. Tied for 11th in hits. He is 45, and that one's back through the middle. It's number 46. A base hit into center field. Stott will hold up at second, and the Phillies have something going here. They have first and second with nobody out here in the first inning. As Bryce Harper, who is one for seven lifetime against Alex Cobb, will stand in. Bounces this one. That's one and two. And over to third base goes Stott. Hitless in the last 24 at bats with runners in scoring position. Well, here's Castellanos, who's never had a hit off Alex Cobb. As this is struck way out into Triples Alley and it's caught. Inning over. A walk and a single. One man left on. No runs. Zach Wheeler, four seam sweeper, sinker, curveball. The sweeper has been very effective, batting average against only a buck 49. Leading off will be Lamont Wade Jr. And like Alex Cobb, he walks the first hitter. And the batter will be Tyro Estrada. Swing and a miss. He got him. He threw him the sweeper. Here's J.D. Davis. Swing and a miss. He got him with a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. So two down, and here is the red-hot Conforto. Fly ball left field. Schwarber's out there. He's under it. And the inning is over. 20 pitches for Zach. He's through the first. No runs, no hits, and one man left. Kyle Schwarber will lead things off. There's a ground ball to short, right to Schmidt. Near second, sets himself, and throws him out at first. 0-1 oh, to JT, grounded over the third base bag, under the glove of J.D. Davis, and down the left field line. And JT will pull into second base, and it sounds like they're going to score that a double. So it's number 12 for JT. All right, so now Alec Bohm. There goes JT to third. Pitches taken outside. He'll have the bag stolen. Get up the middle. And Schmidt will throw him out. Marsh is going to pick him up here. Well, he's 0 for his last 11 overall, oh, yeah. and he would like any kind of hit right now. Three balls, two strikes. And that's up high, ball four. And again, still, Philly's still with a chance to get on the board first here. It's a scoreless game, and Cody Clemens the batter. Runner goes from first. Had a pitch on the inside corner, 0-2. Marshall have a stolen base. And the 3-2 pitch. Low ball four. Wow, 2-0-2 walks. He hadn't had one all season. Bases are loaded for the Phillies. Two outs. Here's Bryson Stott. There's a fly ball to left. Over to his left. Hanniger makes the catch. Frustration for the Phillies. Tonight they are 0-4 with runners in scoring position. And now 0-26 in the last two games. With two outs in the inning. And now JT Romuto, who's... Well, maybe he's going to be the guy. He's got a nine-game hitting streak. Another runner in scoring position for the Phils. Two-strike pitch. Strike three called. A fastball that came back over the outside corner to get him looking. And the Phillies are 0 for 5 tonight with runners in scoring position. In three innings, they've stranded six runners. So Sable is aboard. The Giants' first hit against Zach Wheeler. And here's Joey Bart. Swing at a fly ball center field. Playable for Marsh. And one out here in the third. One away, and we go to the top of the batting order for... Lamont Wade Jr. Line drive, base hit for Wade. On the move is Sable. He's going to hit the bag at second. And now the throw goes all the way through. Lamont Wade cruises into second base. So here is Tyro Estrada. Line drive up the middle. Base hit center field. Coming in to score is Sable. Here comes Wade to third. He got a late break. Tyro Estrada knocks in the first run of the game. And it is one to nothing. Giants. Two on, two out. Left-handed hitting... Conforto. There's a line drive and a base hit. Coming in to score is Wade. It's 2 0. Phillies 0 for their last 27. 0 for 5 tonight with runners in scoring position. Bryson Stott has walked and flied out to left center. And a line drive. Base hit it to right center field. A run will score. The streak is over. Cody Clemens goes to third, and the Phillies are on the board. It's a 2 1 game. Yeah, Cobb has never walked six in a game. Oh, my goodness. Had him leaning. He called, called him a bonk. bonk. All right, so that means Stott will go to second. Clemens will score, and we're tied up at two. Did he not go set? Is that what it was, Ruben? 
Now, it wasn't that he didn't come set necessarily. He may have flinched a little bit. Sometimes pitchers will turn their shoulders or do something different with their with their knee or leg. His left knee actually breaks before he comes over. And that is a deception of the runner. So it'll be a hit for Casey Schmidt. So he's aboard. Bart hit a fly ball to center field in the third. High pop up. Going down the line and right. Now Clemens doesn't see it. And it's a fair ball. It's in play. Schmidt just keeps on going and scores all the way from first on a pop up. Bart ends up at second. Three to two Giants. That's the hit he's been looking for. Another miracle. Here's Wade. Left field is hanging and it is in there. Base hit. Here comes Schwarber up throwing. One hop. He went in standing up. Safe is the call. Well, he asked them to look at it right away. Now they're going to look at this. I don't understand why the guy wouldn't slide at home plate because he know. clearly makes it. But he stays up and gives JT a chance to tag him out. After review, the call in the field stands. The runner is safe. Philadelphia will lose their challenge. All right, so the run does score. Phillies lose their challenge. That was awfully close. He's got his second steal of the night, seventh of the year, and a base hit can tie this game up. This is a little pop up. It's got some personality, and that's going to end the inning. Tying run is up at the plate here in the eighth. And Turner has singled. He's also flied out, struck out twice. Swing and a fly ball to left. Backing up a little bit, now waiting for it. Hanniger in a couple of steps. He's got it. Inning over. Gregory Soto with a dominating bottom of the eighth inning. Let's see if this fuels anything as we go to the top of the ninth. Camilo Doval into pitch now for the Giants as the closer. Swing and a miss. He struck it out and he came back with another slider. Swing and there's a high drive out toward the big part of the yard. Very high in the air but very much in the ballpark. Under it Johnson makes the catch. Two down. So two outs now in Schwarber. Center field. Johnson going back toward the fence. Does he have room? He doesn't. It's gone. A home run for Kyle Schwarber. A solo shot. His 10th of the year. It's a 4 3 game. Phillies with some life as Kyle Schwarber gets a fastball out over the plate and he crunches it to dead center field. 103 miles an hour and 412 feet. Never over till it's over, Tom. And now JT. And that ends the game. So the Phillies. Make a bid, but fall a run short.